Hey everybody, welcome back to Back on Amateur Radio. This is Eric, KI7WJP, and I'm going to take you with us up to Lone Peak, or at least to the flanks of it, to do some APRS. So here's the, the TNC on. Mic's adjusted. I actually put a little piece of Velcro in to keep that TNC in place. And the weather is always a good one. We'll test the weather today. What's the weather? The system I have set up in my backpack is the Mobile Link TNC3 paired to my Yaesu FT25R set up with a BMC connector so that it's easy to take in and out. Put this back in the pocket and, and it'll beacon occasionally. And if, if it locates us, then we actually have someone who knows exactly where we are. Other bot sent out a message for today. And notice we don't have signal, so this is all done through the TNC. We're uh, three miles, the weather's reporting uh, three miles north northwest of Sundance, which probably isn't super accurate, but that's where the weather station is. Sunny, high of 31. So um, another one we could try is sending a message to my buddy Rob. All right, well, we'll let that one play and see what happens. <clears throat> Usually when the uh, notification comes through, I'll get a notification on my watch as well. So. All right, so the uh, text message went out through SMS gate, through APRS, to my buddy Rob, and uh, saying that the mess that we were getting out, a message that we're up here with no phone signal, and got a reply saying, nice, that's so cool. So uh, using APRS out here is possible pretty cool they can get a message out for your location to to almost anybody All right. so here's that message and pretty easy i love it we continue to ski up the mountain and uh we climbed 4,000 vertical feet from where we parked the car and 2,000 vertical feet was on dirt so we actually ditched our shoes or boots somewhere back there in the snow and continued on once we hit the snow on skis. After that, we only gained another 2,000 vertical feet. And you can see just how far away we were from getting to the top. We had about 1,500 feet, 2,000 vertical feet further to go. It was just so far. Anyway, it was a good time to sit down, take a break, and have uh, some snacks and play with the radio. So here we are. 9,400 vertical feet above sea level, looking up at nonsense, dude. So magical, so big. We made it to Mohawk Rock. So as we sat down and had lunch, I decided to check my WinLink messages to see what was there. And I did that through the APRS, APRS link. It was actually pretty cool to be able to see that. At this point, it was time to get ready to head back down. We were exhausted. We'd run out of food and uh, we were going to run out of water before we got back to the car on the descent. So we had about 4,000 feet to go back to the car. And so we thought we'd made some turns and uh, take it kind of easy that way. A great way to lose elevation. And uh, here you can see kind of the stuff we came up. We went up, we came down exactly the same way we went up. And when we were coming down, things had thawed and become muddy and a little bit treacherous and kind of slippery. So I ended up with lots of rocks and mud in my shoes, but that's all right. You can see here that carrying the skis and the boots was something we had to do. And here's my good buddy, Nick, who uh, recently got his ham radio license. Thanks for your help, Nick. Appreciate it. All of you, thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this, please consider giving me a thumbs up and subscribing, and I'll take you on some more adventures with the radio in the backcountry.